loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a more dramatic look for you using some new products that have just come out. I showed you some of them in my last unboxing video. We have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the new shades, um, a new uh, hourglass eye pencil, new blush from Jouer, and I'm also going to use something that I unboxed on Snapchat, so this will be brand new to you guys. I actually did this look last night when I went out, and I noticed that a lot of people took a screenshot of it on Snapchat, so I figured I would recreate the look for you. So if you want to learn how to do this look, keep watching. So to begin, I'm going to prep my skin with the Natasha Denona Magic Primer. This is one of my favorites. This has a really lightweight consistency, so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. Moving right into the foundation, I'm going to use my All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now, don't yell at me. I know this is a little dark for my face. It's dark for my face, but that's how I like to do it. I like to go slightly darker, and then once I highlight and contour, it all normalizes and matches my body. And the color that I'm using is called Syracuse, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just start patting that onto my skin. So you guys, I think I discovered what makes my face break out. I think it's tomatoes. I've been sort of testing it out and I had like this sneaky suspicion that tomatoes were making my face break out. And it wasn't even like acne, it was like hives almost, just like a rash, like little tiny bumps everywhere. And I stopped eating it and then my face cleared up and then I ate more. I wanted to test it out again and I started breaking out again around my mouth. So. I think I have to stop eating tomatoes and I love tomatoes, I'm sad. All right, next up, a lot of you have been asking about this since my unboxing video. I've got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. You guys know that I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in probably like 85 to 90% of my videos. It is my absolute favorite. And now they have six brand new shades. A lot of you asked for swatches of the six new shades. So here they are from lightest to darkest. We have Creme Brulee, Canel, macadamia, chestnut, hazelnut, and dark coffee. I've only ever used ginger, which is my go-to, and sometimes custard, but since I have all of these, let's go ahead and play with them. So first I'm gonna take chestnut, and I'm gonna put this under my eyes just where I get a little bit of darkness. You can see that has a really nice apricot tone, that peachy, sort of, kind of orangey shade is gonna cancel out any darkness, so you can correct with this. A little bit at the outer corners here. And just taking my Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend that all out and really get into that inner corner. I get a little bit of darkness right there in the inner part. And since I have dark coffee, I'm actually gonna use this to contour because it looks like it has a nice ashy tone to it. Sometimes the darker colors tend to be really orange and this one looks nice and neutral, so I'm gonna use this to contour. And because it's so much darker than my complexion, I'm gonna be pretty conservative about how much I use. And then for the tip of my nose, just like dotting it on. So then going back to that round side of my beauty blender, I'm just gonna start beating this until it's blended. And that's actually giving me a really nice contour. Like I said, it has a neutral tone, it's not too orange, so it's pretty ideal for contouring. And then going into the other side, same thing, just stippling, just pressing that beauty blender against your skin. And then just carefully blending out my nose contour. And of course we need to brighten this up a little bit, so I'm gonna take Macadamia. This is the third lightest color, and I'm just gonna use this to highlight. So, just gonna add this under my eyes and drag it out all the way over to the tops of my cheekbones and that's what's really gonna give me that nice highlight. And then just a little bit of highlighting around the mouth. And I always like to highlight just between my brows because I tend to get shadows right there. And then into the center of my forehead. And then back to the Beauty Blender, just gonna use the pointed end to blend all of this out. And again, really concentrating on getting that highlight on my um, on the tops, tops of my cheekbones. 
And even though I used three different concealers over my foundation, this is why I love this stuff. It's so weightless. It never creases, it never looks cakey. It always just blends right in and looks really natural. All right, now that I've corrected, contoured, and highlighted, I'm gonna set this with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in medium. I'm just gonna set mostly just my highlight areas. And now moving on to the blush, I'm going to use another product that I shared with you in my unboxing video. This is the new set of blushes from Jouer. I'm going to give you another look at these. So here they are. These are a couple of the bronzers and these are three of the new blush shades. And I think the one that I'm going to use is this one on the end here. It's called Bougainvillea. I like that word, Bougainvillea. And so I'm just going to take my blush brush and start patting that in. And this is kind of going to pull my contour together as well. And this is kind of same thing, I'm just patting it into my skin. Now for this look, I don't want to do any crazy highlight, but I do want that glowing bronzy look. So I'm going to use that Milani Tantastic uh, Baked Bronzer that I used in my last Get Ready With Me video. The color is Fantastic and Gold. So I just loaded up a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of drape this over my skin. Not concentrated in any one area. I, like I said, I want it to be like a just like a golden bronze veil all over. It actually looks really good across the decollete. All right, we are done with the face. Let's move on to the eyes. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna use for the eyes is this Dolce & Gabbana Cream Eyeshadow. It's called Desert, and it's just a really nice neutral color to have as a base. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this just with my finger, and I'm gonna work this through my lid. I'm just really making sure to get into that inner corner and then sort of fade it out over the crease. And now for the shadows, I'm using another brand new product. I didn't unbox this in my last video, but I did unbox it on Snapchat. Some of you might have seen it. It is the Lorac Pro Palette number three. I've always been a fan of the Pro Palettes. They are some of the best most velvety, soft, blendable, pigmented shadows out there. And I'm gonna stay mostly in this range of like plum and like sort of dark purple, dark brown colors. But of course, first things first, we wanna work on the crease and just uh, start with a transition color. So I'm gonna use clay. It's kind of like a mauvey nude medium brown color. So I'm just gonna start working that right into the crease. Just because it's gonna make everything else easier to blend once I get the darker colors in there. Can you hear that? The dogs are freaking out about something. All right, now I'm gonna go right into a darker color. I'm gonna use Amethyst. It's this really pretty sort of aubergine color. I'm just pressing this into my lid, trying to get good color payoff, and work that all the way into the inner corner of the eye. And then once I get to the crease, I'm just gonna start blending it with that first color I uh, laid down, the clay. And then just gonna work a little bit more of this color into the outer part of the lid. And then on the other side, same thing, just sort of pressing the color into my lid so the color really shows up. And then again, going back into that blending brush and just blending out over the crease. So now with a smudge brush, I'm gonna take the same color and run this along my bottom lash line for that smoky purple look. And again on the other side. Now it's up to you if you wanna darken up the outer part of the lid and the crease with say tr truffle or jet black, but I wanna keep this really simple and effortless, sort of just like a like a messy, grungy, smoky look, but I do wanna add something to the center that's gonna really make it pop. So this is by Dolce & Gabbana, and it's called Shimmer Powder, but it's not a powder. It's a cream product, and the color is uh, Star Shine. It has a really pretty, um, just kind of white gold, glittery shine to it. So I'm just gonna use my finger and grab a little bit of this, and I wanna put this on the center of my lid so I really get that pop of highlight. Gonna add that right there to the middle. 
and then blend it out with a clean finger. So without doing a lot, it kind of looks like you did a lot. It's just because it has so much more dimension with that like shimmery um, cream. And then again, same thing on the other side. Starting at the center and then blending outward. And you want to stop right at the crease. And you know what, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing right at the center of your bottom uh, lash line. Just add a little bit of that and blend it with um, that purple color. And of course you guys know when I do a lot of shadow, I don't do liner, but I'm gonna use another product that I showed you guys in my unboxing video, the um, Hourglass 1.5 millimeter pencil in Canyon. This is the dark brown I showed you. And all I'm gonna do with this, make sure my finger's clean, um, is just line the inner rim of my top lash line to give the eye a little definition, but not make it look like I'm wearing eyeliner. And you know what, actually I am going to darken up my waterline. Sorry, I know this is not the cutest angle, but it's the only way I can keep from poking myself in the eye. All right, finally moving on to the mascara. I'm gonna use my Spider Lash Mascara. No falsies for this look. Most especially when I really want my lid to show when my eyes are open, I won't use false lashes because they tend to block whatever's going on on your lid when you're looking straight ahead. Also, I'm lazy. And then I'm gonna hit those bottom lashes too. And lately I've been trying not to fill in my eyebrows at all, but I don't know, I feel like it's force of habit that I have to do maybe just a little bit just to fill in some bald spots. I'm not gonna do too much. I just realized I got so caught up with what I was gonna do for the eyes that I just didn't even prepare a lip product. <laughs> I'll be right back, let me find one. All right, so for the lips, I'm gonna start out with this pencil by Dolce & Gabbana. This has been my go-to lately. It's the perfect nude, especially for just contouring your lips. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna kinda of fill them in too. So you could actually leave it this way and just go for like a natural matte look, but I'm gonna take this Natasha Denona lip gloss in Rosy Nude. It's actually a really light color, so I'm just gonna dab on a little bit and sort of mix it with the lip liner. So just a couple of little dots everywhere. So that's it for this look, guys. It turned out to be a cool tone, sort of icy, purpley, gray, smoky eye, and I kept the lips um, pretty cool too with like a light pink gloss. I know a lot of you are fans of the smoky look and this is my way of keeping it simple and not too structured, still kind of natural looking and just effortless. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on socials. I am at Tenny Panosian on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I love you guys very much and I will see you in my next video.